Because I am not going for politics because of the public form. God has already ordained me. God has blessed me. Has given me something to win. Even what I'm hearing in the months, some of politicians, even governors, you know how it's. Suddenly, I was caught by the party chairman of the state then. Said, Mr. You are the one that will contest for the governor of the state. I said, I'm not hungry, I'm not interested. Because I realized that it's, it's all, all politicians, they will bring every office to take it. Because of what? I don't know. But I need to know. I want to, I want people to guide me. I think I will get to know more. But I join politics as I'm talking to you. I'm not a politician. But I joined politics last two years ago. And I was there realizing that if these people are calling me, they were talking to me that I should come and rescue them and others. Who am I? Who I am that will not listen to the masses? And I said, okay, that's the case. I am coming on board to rescue the nation. That's when I was given a ticket of my governor to Bantaria. Satisfied with the conduct of the election? Not at all. If you are not uh, satisfied, what have you been doing? Or what do you intend to do? Thank you, sir. I am not uh, comfortable with uh, the outcome of the last election due to how uh, INEC officers, our officials, and robbed our party because they know that uh, Nigerians are clamoring for a new Nigeria and as a result of that they don't uh, want any political party to come up aside of the two giant political parties they, in the country which happens to be APC and the PDP and uh, as a result of that Nigerians find, find our political party name you know, difficult to recognize on the ballot paper during the election. So, because uh, other political party was uh, you know, inscripted on the ballot paper of their name aside of the logo. And if you can realize the constitution of Nigeria, Nigeria is, is not, uh, did not give room for any political party to just have a logo without a political name, which even if the party did not even write a letter to correct them, they should also know that they should abbreviate the name, which is New Nigeria People's Party, to NNPP. Meanwhile, I have a copy of the letter sent to them from the national that this party name is not included in the ballot paper, that they should make a correction. But so unfortunate, unfortunate that uh, on that very day of election, the first uh, presidential election, which we find our party name you know, so difficult to recognize on the ballot paper. I personally wrote a letter to INEC in Ogun State that the governorship election coming up, that they should be, they should make sure that uh, our party name is included in the any ballot paper they are going to print. But so disappointing that uh, on the day of election of the uh, governorship, we couldn't find the name on the ballot paper. Fired. The first one we're told that okay, if our party wants any council to represent us, we should write a letter. Then the national wrote a letter that this is our council, which is Isaac Izunya Chamber, that should be the council representing or lead the party 
in the tribuna and the, then we submitted the letter. On that day, they rule out the, uh, the letter that uh, somebody has came to withdraw the petition. Then we said we cannot stop there. We have to appeal. Then we appeal. So unfortunate that uh, the judicial system of Nigeria is corrupt in the sense that uh, the SA hand son that we gave money to represent us, you know, fails to attend the court without knowing what happened. Uh, I think GDOK or something, GDOK was you know, paid the 50% which was of 2.5 million and by myself on behalf of the national. And it fails to appear in the courts. We were so surprised that how come? So now realize that uh, all these people have been settled and you know the corruption system of the country has really you know, affected a lot of things.